Hey guys, hope you're doing right. Hope you're doing well. This is Fallout 76. This is a brand new series that I'm starting. If you feel like playing with me, I'm on PC, on Steam. I'm also on Xbox Series X, PS4, PS5. And if you feel like clicking the like here, click here for a like. Obviously, let me know that you're enjoying the video or you're going to join the video. And if you feel like subscribing, click here for future content, upcoming videos, live streams charity live streams and as soon as we get to 500 subscribers that's where we can start doing our giveaways and whatnot and then obviously the more subscribers i get and that the, probably the bigger the better the prize is it depends so if you do enjoy the cutscene and i'll talk to you shortly hoorah changes. In 1776, this great nation accepted that armed conflict was the only way to preserve our rights to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the Red Menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America, so that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting is stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins. So that was quite an interesting little thing we saw there, and obviously the history and whatnot. So I'll just let you listen to this, and then we'll crack on after. This is the overseer. I hope you all enjoyed the party last night, even those who may have overindulged and overslept. But it's time to get up and get out there. We've been locked away long enough. Today is Reclamation Day. It may be time to leave, but I'll never forget the day you all entered Vault 76. You come from every walk of life, every race, color, and creed. But you all share one very important trait. You are this country's best and brightest. But more importantly, you'll always be my family. So as you see here, this is where we can create our character or whatnot. We can do whatever. But the uniqueness to me of this is that you can actually do expressions and whatnot. But this is only me doing it just quickly and just checking the area and whatnot. See what's what. And then we just continue on. This is me just playing the guitar just for the sake of playing the guitar at the time. And whatnot, it's just, it is what it is. You just gotta explore things and then see how they all fit and whatnot.
the good thing about this as well it actually shows you um, basically little tips and tricks as you go along and as you see here we're just walking around I'm just trying to figure out where do I get out I was like ah I've got to pick up my pit boy so that's where you get all your information you get your data which is basically miss, main missions, side missions, miscellaneous missions it's also daily missions and stuff like that and obviously you get your weapons, where your armour is, where all your food is drink, basically the general stuff you need in this sort of game and I just find it really good I actually got the collector's edition for the Xbox and I've actually got the pit boy, I've never used it I just basically keeping it in this box because you know I just opened it to see what's what in there and it's just perfect to me it's a perfect collector's edition so here you see you get pure five water there, and red X and you hear them leave. just talking on and on and on I'm, I'm just checking say. things and just saying hello and whatnot Out to them so we go to the next one and we'll get like Red, red away and Stimpex basically Red away is good to get rid of radiation and Stimpex is obviously to basically give you health back so here we've got all the building materials and whatnot that we have to literally use because we can actually build bases if you haven't played a Fallout game before sort of thing and to be fair I mean it's good I mean I've seen some really decent stuff being done and it's really hard if you're a new person yeah remember you don't have to go it alone find friends or make you as you see here the camp is basically where you can get all your materials you can build things and basically go from there in all fairness that's all I've got to say on that one so I think the next bit we're going to do is basically we're going to go and get our special cards, which is basically our perk cards. And obviously Remember, each perk has a different effect, as you'll pro you see throughout this video, this very first video. Like you can choose all different things. If you want to literally just wait a few seconds, pause the video each time, and it shows you what ability does what. And obviously the more you pick you know and then obviously you have to basically f sort it out in the way you see fit but also what the uniqueness to me of this you can actually rank them up because some of them are three star so you can get three of them put them all in the one boom you got three stars that's the highest you can actually get perk wise so you got all these different perks to do things like hacking and so this one i've picked first aid Really, I should have gone for hacking, but obviously you'll get that down the line. So now hopefully we'll just go out to explore, but first I want to see if I can actually hack into a computer, which is coming up right now. Well, sometimes I can actually get it, sometimes I can't. It's just what it is really, because I thought, oh, I'll give it a test, see how good I am, and then just go click. Nope. So obviously if you see they got one so it works as the A. So I tried that one. Nope. And I got locked out, but I was like wee and see if I can get back into it. And I couldn't, so I was like, you know, I ain't gonna waste my time, I ain't gonna waste your time sort of thing. So here we go. We are going out Goodbye. into the wasteland. Now obviously you're going to have loading screens on this but you know you do get some nice pictures that throughout this loading screen and I find it very interesting. Some of them are different but here we are we're now out and about. We're just going to look around 
and just head on to our objective which is just down there as you see running and then you'll see up coming here is a box so basically people can donate things which I just like yep I'll just take all that because obviously it will help me that wasn't there before when it first came out five years ago it was nothing but yeah oh, sir. I'll let you listen those young ladies down there they seem exceedingly alive they haven't yet made any untoward advances but perhaps you could speak to them verify their intentions are civil I've been keeping watch here long enough to have learned that outside the vault people don't always have one's best intentions at heart I'm sorry to say it but it's the truth oh do be careful out there sir just want to quickly point out here that literally I will end up obviously putting subtitles on if you find it hard to understand what not. Yeah, I'll leave just this in this here, bit. Not a threat. Just had some questions for you. You came out of the vault, right? I thought it was empty. Wait, is the door still open? God damn it. <sighs> We got a tip from the wayward. Heard of the place? New bar down the road. So this guy told us that... After you gave him the last of our caps. And he said that inside that vault is the... You know, that's where the big one is. Our last chance to turn our lousy luck around. You know, the thing that brought everyone back. The treasure. Well, yeah, there was this big broadcast, but shouldn't you know it was in there? I told you, Lacey. The guy was scamming us. But those were the last of our caps. No, someone has to know something. We're just gonna stick it out until we find them. Wonderful. Thanks for answering some questions for us, I suppose. Seems only fair I return the favor. Anything we can answer for you? They sent you out here without a weapon? Be a quick trip trying to do this unarmed. Here. So as you see here, Watch yourself pretty here. much we don't really get a decent weapon here. I think we get a machete, which is not as good as a gun, but you know, you just can't pick and choose what you get. But also, as you see, there's multiple questions, and obviously, it will go on and on and on. So, as we go down here, we're literally just literally gonna go and explore until we get to the Waywards um, pub. I think it's like a pub sort of thing, the wasteland. So, I'll speak to you in a bit. As you see here, I've literally just picked up this, even though I was talking to this guy at the same time as doing this. But basically, when you do things like this, you get well rested, like you do in a bed if you play about uh, Fallout 4. You'll feel very well rested, and this actually helps because I think you gain more XP this way. But this is me thinking that. You seem like somebody who appreciates resourcefulness. 
I know, I know, you're thinking, I've seen you before. Right, you recognize this mug, don't you? Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I'd gladly walk up a hill in the snow if it means not eating from a garbage can again. As you carry on, you'll see other players. Some of them are like 200, 1000 that have been playing the game, I'm guessing, since day one. I'm not too sure. But obviously, there's an event going on at this time of recording. It's a Halloween event. Obviously, it's coming up to Halloween, which is in a, on Tuesday, the 30th. Terrorist. Yeah, so I'll just be going to explore, so I'm not really going to bore you with the commentary on that because you'll see what happens and what I do. silos in Appalachia before the bombs fell. They blew up the world before. We can't let it happen again. So we've got to locate and secure all of the silos. Or die trying. Hopefully the former. But it's been 25 years. I just don't know what we're gonna find out there. Or where to start. My directive was to go to the nearest population center and assess the situation. I'll set up a camp on the way once I get my bearings. Find me there. So as you heard there, you get you will literally go around getting hollow tapes, and basically that's just basically like a little guideline for you. I mean, it's a very interesting game, but it's better off with friends rather than being on your Jackie Joan. But you'll get a load of them and go from there so I'll just let you see this one out I'll speak to you soon As you see here, she's getting held up. This is the first person you really speak to, speak to, 
as the original NPC and this is how you go and, and obviously I just decided to attack him he was holding someone up I thought it was the right thing and this is the uh, end result and then we'll just go to basically outside again and we'll just go to the camp and we'll just go around to the next little town over I'll let you listen to what she's got to say Oh, well, not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. Oh, sorry about that, darling. First round's on me. Name's Duchess. There's something I could do for you. Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fellow named Crane, who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been making my life irritating. Not exactly good for a budding business. Now that you mention it, I could use an extra pair of hands. See? That boy you put down. He's not the first of his crew to roll in here, but I want him to be the last. Normally, I'd send my people out to clean house, but my muscles run off, so I don't have the bodies to spare right now. But I'm willing to pay good money if you put an end to this for me. So, what do you say? That's what I was hoping. So, the details. Now, each of these boys came in asking after Crane. I'm thinking we can make that work for us. How would you grab the attention of a bunch of single-minded thugs? Well, aren't you a smart cookie? And I think I know just how to do it. Just give me one second. I just want you to know, architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh, not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? That's the spirit. Hey, if you need a refresher, good old Morty Mort can help you out. What are you on about, Mordecai? Hey, no, nah, I'm not bragging or anything. Well, I've got some tapes that cover that very subject. Oh, Mort, not the tapes. Well, you find yourself wanting a refresher? Talk to Mort. Of course, you're gonna need materials, but we should have enough lying around to cover you there. Get you together a little care package. Throw some rations in there, too, so you don't starve on me. And so you know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts. But I can spot you some workbench materials, too, since you're doing me such a big one. Who knows? Maybe you'll learn something while you do it. Now, you ready to get this show on the road? Hot dog. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure, once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. Oh, and on the topic of leaders, you know, one of my people found this tape in the camp across the way, recorded by one overseer of Vault 76. It's a little out of date at this point, but it seems it might have been left for someone from her vault. Maybe it was waiting for you? Sounds like she set the camp up so her people could get some practice in Self-reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a little refresher.
So that was our first little quest we just literally just finished. And now we're just going to go outside, obviously get the loading screens. It is always happens with the loading screens. Sometimes you get your picture, sometimes you get a nice outdoors picture. And it's just pretty much random, which is alright, I guess. But if you do like um, pictures yourself, then that actually does come up similar to Starfield. Obviously, it's the same maker as Star with Starfield Fallout. So, yeah. So as you see here, we're just going to go over to the road, which is where the camp is. You will get stuff in there. This time, I didn't get nothing in one. So we're just literally doing a miscellaneous one, like craft a weapon, place your own camp, craft a piece of armor. It's just something I thought I'd just do for the sake of doing it, so I can just go away and leave me alone sort of thing. There's also challenges, which I'll bring up later on in the video. So this is my stash where I can put things away certain things I put away, certain things I keep to sell on and whatnot, just so it's just empty as hell, but it's all good. I like to keep things like ammo, carry root base, stuff like loose goodies, basically materials you need, lunch boxes, I don't actually know what the lunch boxes do still. Yeah. And obviously I just transfer things over, just for the sake of transferring makes it easier so later on you'll be like oh I need, I've got this gun ah have I got enough ammo go to your stash box boom got it Usually about here there's you'd be stuff in there but there's nothing in there, someone's obviously took in it. So I lost out my chance and certain stuff, but I like to do the cooking. I like to use what I've got and obviously you can see the different foods you can make as you go on. The more recipes you get, the more food, the more drink and so on. So as you see here I'm just gonna craft myself a bit of armour. I'll probably end up crafting two bits now my luck because I'm just the way I am. I was like, nope, not having that one. So I'll just try a bit of light armor. So I used to do a chest piece, and I think I end up doing a left arm. I thought I had enough to do a right arm, but I was like, nah, I'll just use what I've got. So I'm just gonna crack down. Oh, I'm gonna actually see what I've got level up wise. Nope, I've gotta put my crack camp down. <laughs> Silly old me. So obviously I'm going a bit of far away is where I can do it. And obviously I'm going to continue the hunter for hire. And I got a bit confused like that. Huh? What? And then it says read the plan. Obviously I still haven't done the listen to the overseer camp on yet. So I'm going to see if I can build the um, quest item which is there see who I get and it just goes on from there so then I have to literally go and actually go to a radio link place to broadcast it and this is where I've got a bit ooh on it because I was like where am I supposed to go how am I supposed to do that This is where I was like, huh? 
what am I supposed to do? It took me literally about two minutes to figure out what I had to do. I was having a bit of a duh moment. But it happens from time to time. Not all the time. I was like, oh, can I click on that? Can I insert that? No. And I was like, oh. So this is the bit. If you click on the menu, it will show you all the challenges. But here I was like, okay. So I open all this up. I have about five packs. And I just pick and choose whatever perks I really wanted. Ad Victorium. Suitable compost material detected. As you saw there, I was literally fighting the dogs. I'm just getting the meat because my next objective I would do, hopefully in the second video, if you have enjoyed the first, I would literally just cook them. So I've always got some sort of foods on me and all that. So as you see, this is someone else's camp that they made. It looks quite nice. Looks all right. And I'm just exploring and making sure that I've, if anything's about. Anything I can use basically in a nutshell. So as you see here, I go for the mole rats and then I go for a possum after. Talk to a settler, then I crack on going to the radio tower. So I'll meet you at the radio tower. About time to eat. Nice day. Sure is hot out here. I could really use a bit of water. Oh, thanks. Oh, I really needed something to drink. The further out we expand our influence, the more people we can help.
Shush. Hello. Hello there. Oh, I think it's working. <laughs> I hate these things. This is Willie May. And I was asked to talk a bit about my life since the war to help educate future children someday. I think that's nice. I thought I'd just watch my programs and entertain the grandkids in my retirement. But that didn't turn out to be the case. I'm just glad they all made it to the vault in time, you see. When I saw it in a dream, I, I knew... Overseer's Log, Town of Flatwoods. My God. So you will actually There's get no all different there. people's so life stories and whatnot before the bombs dropped and obviously you'll get some that are now and just confessions and whatnot. you get that all the way throughout and obviously this is a good time to be in good sort of farming thing to do and as you see we're just literally gonna go up to the actual place that we need to go so I will meet you there So now we're at the radio tower or relay tower, you'll see a ball or scorch. So basically, I don't know the full backstory, but you've got scorch and you've got ghouls. Ghouls are like people who survived the radiation, but basically they're like zombies in a nutshell. I'm just going to give it to you straight, they're like zombies. Some of them can remember, like in the bar as you saw. Malt, I think, or whatever his name is, is literally a ghoul, but he remembers it all and whatnot. It's quite an interesting backstory if you're into that. So as you see here, just going around making sure I've got everything, and obviously attempt failed to open up one something. I think it's the first aid box. I was like, I'm getting frustrated a little bit, but I'm just cracking on anyway. So I've got a gas mask because. Later down the line, you're going to areas that are literally all gas, and you need a gas mask really to survive. And yeah, it is that some areas are gas, some are not. This one got a bit like, oh, I broke my bobby pin, but I got a successful second time around. That's what I like. Afterwards, I tend to go and load in the um, actual broadcast note that is meant to be sent to Wolves of Fire that we are Crane and I'll let that crack on and we'll meet you back when we find the people who Manage think we unloaded. are Crane. Initiating broadcast call. Attention all humans. Attention all
You're not Crane. As you see, we've got our first victim. We're just going to have to drum in some information. Who is actually after this whoa, Crane whoa. person? I'm not with any gang. And obviously, just sort of shits himself. I'm not going to lie to you. And then you'll get a second lot. You'll what see in is. about a minute or two. And then just we'll just go from there. I'll meet you when I see them. The wayward, huh? It might be I pay the place a visit. Appreciate the tip, not Crane. Good luck out here. And then as you see, they're the two. We're gonna like interrogate them sort of. And they're gonna ask off the crane, as you see. This it? But you were some kind of big shot. So, rumor is you got information our boss wants. <laughs> you tell me where this treasure is, and he's willing to leave you alone. And now we threaten him. And then he's going, Oh, we'll just give up. And then we go back and report to um, what? the lady in the bar where sure. it is. And that's where I'll end fine, the video. Fine. I want to say thank you very much. We if you made it this far, West you're Virginia fantastic. Company, Don't forget to West. click a like here. Okay. And hopefully subscribe. Let's get and out of here. thank you for watching. Bye. Have a good time. <laughs>